So Paul, you used to coach Sloan, so I was wondering if you could help us understand, because a lot of us who watch Sloan and, and root for Sloan and, and enjoy her tennis don't understand the fluctuations from the highest highs of winning a title last week, winning a match like this with ease, and then some of the lows that we've seen from her. What, how, do you, how do we help us understand? Look, it's tough to understand, right? I mean, and everybody's person and personality is different. I think Sloan, you know, I think she's such an interesting person. And she has said, remember back before, was it after Australia or a couple of years ago where she told everyone in the press room to calm Take down? Everything's oh, going to be... be fine. So I think she knows, she doesn't want to be inconsistent. She knows that there's going to be some ups and downs. And I think now when Sloan's on the rise like this and has the confidence, that's when when everyone else needs to take notice. And I don't think anyone is safe on the women's tour if she's feeling good, getting some confidence. She is a great athlete. And look, she doesn't want to be inconsistent. She's always going to try to be better at that, but she has that propensity. So she's just got to deal with it. Andy, she's a U.S. Open champion. She's a Roland Garros runner-up. What do you make of the trajectory of Sloan's career? Uh, well, you know, it's it's a little bit like a heart rate monitor. Um, you know, big peaks and, and, and some valleys tucked in there uh, as well. But I'll tell you one thing. People on tour, they see her starting to win matches. You know, not all challenger winners are the same, right? You can see someone win a challenger like, okay, that's great. But, you know, maybe they got a seven-foot ceiling with their game. Sloan Stevens wins, wins a challenger and going, oh, no, here we go. This could mm -hmm. be the start of a little little, little Sloan run here. So, you know, the, I, I'm sure she would tell you the delta between her her great stuff and her bad stuff is probably as significant as anyone else on the WT Tour. But I like what I'm seeing. You win a challenger, you come back, you ease through a first round. It's not one of those grinder five and the thirds. It's a four and one on a muddy day. Uh, she's rolling into form at the right time, Brett. No one saw the U.S. Open title coming from her. No one saw the Roland Garros final coming from her. She plays Vika next. They've made it eight times. They've split those eight meetings.